The success of Sanford and Son made Red Fox a star overnight, a face and a voice a nation now knew. But for more than 30 years before that, Red played backcountry juke joints, keeping company with the likes of Bessie Smith, Big Bill Brunzi, Ma Rainey, and the Will Maston Trio, starring Sammy Davis Jr. Payment was often a few beers and a place to change clothes. Next came the stages of black theaters on the south side of Chicago, the east end of Los Angeles, and up in Harlem in New York, the Apollo, the Royal, the Regal. The Chitlin Circuit was the only place black performers worked. It took me until 1951, I think it was, 1952, before I ever worked in a white club. And that was at Basin Street uh, East in New York. And I remember the opening night, uh, uh, Steve, uh, Steve and Edie uh, were there, and I tried to clean my act up for New York and for a uh, big-time nightclub in New York. I tried to clean my act up, and it was slowly going down the drain. And so uh, Steve and Edie said, and when I came off, said, Foss, do your real show that you're known for while you're here, and, and uh, just be you. So I did, and the next next show it was unbelievable I mean I almost realized a standing ovation because people were standing up and they weren't leaving Red Fox's career has come a long way from those early days but his nightclub act performed almost every weekend in Las Vegas is much the same as it was on the Chitlin circuit and yet despite nationwide and network appearances Red's ribald act has never been seen on television I think this kind of show, that, the kind of show that I do is good for television as long as it's uh, in, where you can uh, tune in if you like or turn off if you like or pay if you want or don't watch it if you don't want to see it. You know, because people know what I do and I've been doing it so many years, it's nothing new. The following home box office on location presents the uncensored act of an extraordinary comedian, a unique performer who has never resisted on stage or off to speak the lines, the words, that will create laughter. For as far as uh, clean and what people term dirty, I consider normal because most people use the type of words I use through the day, but I just don't get up until night, so that's when I use them. And it makes a payday for me. Ladies and gentlemen, the Silverbird Hotel and Home Box Office are proud to present Red Fox. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's the biggest hand I've ever seen in my life. Thank you for being here. Hope you've seen me before. If not, you're in for a thrill. <laughs> no, this might sound like egomania, but I swear to God and three other white men, you're gonna enjoy me. <laughs> Let me get mellow here. You see, ooh, I talk about sex mostly. That's why people say I'm dirty, I'm blue, I'm gross, vulgar, dirty old man. Well, let me tell you folks, that's a lot of shit. <laughs> I'm honest. Everyone here said shit. If you've never said shit before, meet me after the show and let me slam your hand in my car door. <laughs> See, you say shit, fuck that nigga. <laughs> hey, shit, nigga, what the fuck you doing? 
to a normal reactions. Everyone grown. You know, I say fucking shit only for one reason. People do. <laughs> if you've never fucked shit. <laughs> If you've never shit, fuck. <laughs> I was laying in bed last night talking to my ex-wife's sister. I said, <laughs> it's crowded and too bright, isn't it? You, you get all the pure. Oh, another reason I say shit is because I have a St. Bernard dog weighs 240 pounds. He does not doo-doo. <laughs> you cannot give a dog 10 cans of Alpo and expect him to doo-doo. <laughs> See, St. Bernard's shit. <laughs> That's why you keep him in the yard. Because if you had him in the house, that shit would cover up the furniture. <laughs> My neighbor called the police. See, I got a yard full of shit. They called the police and told them I was growing shit. <laughs> they came out to the house and said, where's that shit you're growing? I said, out in the yard, smoke your 12. <laughs> God damn. You notice I smoke a lot when I perform. Because friends, there are a lot of things worse than cancer. A six foot six black nationalist in the alley with a hatchet mad at you <laughs> is worse than cancer. I don't join no groups because most groups give up pork. And I'm not gonna give up pork to be with a crowd of people. <laughs> See, a guy told me once, he asked me, how can you eat that filthy swine? I said, knife and fork, hot sauce, green, black eyed peas, Candace people taste, peach cobbler, and a diet right cola. <laughs> if, just laugh right out loud, honey, the hell with these people. Let me enjoy yourself, get drunk tonight, and throw up in a cab, fuck them. <laughs> Come to Las Vegas to relax. I mean, you have a smile too friendly, honey. Your husband there look like Jesus. If you're him, I'm not surprised, sir. I mean, master. I knew you were coming. I saw it on a big rock on the highway. You see that rock? I said, Jesus is coming. I thought it was a porno movie. 